no more lettuce wraps. Welcome to the first episode of Keto Asian Flavors. My name is Anne, and I am so excited to be sharing this recipe with you. Here are the ingredients. You will need water, gelatin, gum arabic powder, egg whites, and sea salt. If you're not familiar with gum arabic, it is a natural prebiotic and an excellent source of soluble fiber. It is also known as acacia fiber or acacia gum. It is organic, odorless, tasteless, and naturally gluten-free. It can be used as a stabilizer, emulsifier, and thickener. It can also enhance the texture of gluten-free food and extend the shelf life of baked products. With that said, you will be seeing more of gum arabic in my future recipes. In this recipe, we will need the powder form. I will put a link in the description box below. Before mixing all the ingredients together, you will need to prepare six plastic plates or nonstick pans. You can either line it with parchment paper or leave it as is. I will show you the different results and compare it at the end of the video. In a medium saucepan, combine all the ingredients except for the egg whites. Once the ingredients has dissolved, turn on the heat and set it to medium. When the mixture reaches a rolling boil, turn off the heat. Slowly add the hot mixture into the egg white by tempering. We want to mix the hot gelatin mixture with the egg white without changing the texture of both liquids. The purpose of using egg white and gum arabic in this recipe is to help strengthen and bind the riceless paper. It will also help with texture when dried. Pour about one third cup of the mixture into each plastic plate or metal pan. Let's set and air dry. This process would take about 24 hours to 48 hours depending on room temperature. This is what it looks like when it is dried on parchment paper. It is now ready to use. And as you can see, the ones that were dried without parchment paper gives a glossy look. It even has the imprint of the brand. If you want a matte finish, just like the regular rice paper, then lining the plates and pans with parchment paper will give you the desired results. Not only does this recipe mimic the regular rice paper, it's also healthy and has a good source of protein. It is smooth, thin, durable, pliable, and has the same texture and taste. And just like the regular rice paper, they are delicate when rehydrated. So do handle it with care and make sure all your vegetables are washed and dried when making fresh spring rolls with it. When removing from the plastic plate, just gently lift the edges and work your way in. Look at the difference. This is using the same recipe, but drying it on a different surface. Now let's get rolling. Prepare your fillings such as protein, vegetables, and kelp noodles. Let's make a few rolls to demonstrate that this recipe actually works. Wow. 
How exciting is this? Doesn't this look exactly like rice paper? Look at this. Look at how well this is held together. And don't forget to make your favorite fish sauce recipe. That's it. That's how you make riceless paper for your fresh spring rolls. I will include a link to the description box down below with another version of this recipe using glycerin. The recipe is posted on my daughter's channel, Kitchenia. And also comment down below if you have a recipe in mind and you want me to try it out or recreate. I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like the video, share it if you love this recipe and also subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you will be notified when I post my next recipe. Thank you again for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye!